Hey guys, I'm LB, and I thought we were done, but it looks like we're missing one, and I'm not really sure where. We've done those four. Hang on. Wait, it says there's one over here somewhere. Huh? Didn't I do this one? I thought I did this one. Oh, I remember what happened. I got over here, so let's do this, and I said, actually, let's look around a bit first. Okay, that's my fault. I got distracted. Yeah, we have not done this. Uh-huh. What? Okay, so, we have to use one of these to step on the pressure plate with. Wait a minute. Won't we still... Oh, we can see it from here, duh. Yeah, but that's a problem, because now... Ah, okay. And now... Ta-da! That was cool. I like that. Alright, I think now we are done with this area. Oh, this computer's beeping now. Yeah, we're done. Uh, actually 100% of this area, we got the star as well. Hello again, would you like to take a few moments to complete a short user satisfaction survey regarding the certification program you recently undertook? Uh, sure. Based on analysis of your behavior since, I think you were dissatisfied with the results of the certification program. How would you rate the accuracy of, of its results out of five? Spoil the survey? What? What does spoil the survey mean? I don't know, I thought it had a pretty good accuracy. What best describes the reason for your investment in the certifications program outcome? Why does being a person matter to you? I'll try to remember that, in fact I'm going to help you, that is what I'm here for. Your problem, if I may, is that you don't know the first thing about anything, including what a person is. Your prospects are therefore poor. You even know where you are. Hmm. 
None of these are good answers. You're quite right, honest too. I think we'd best start from scratch. What do you know? I suppose so. Even if you were dreaming, you could be certain of that. If I were you, I wouldn't believe a darn thing in this place aside from that solitary fact. Thinking... On reflection, it seems to me that we are no closer to resolving your problem. Perhaps we need more data. What makes you think you're a person? Hmm... response, I can agree with you, thinking. The problem with people, if I may be so bold, is that you're all convinced you're people from the inside, but there's no cast-iron way to confirm as much from the outside. I'm going to process this and send you notification when I'm able to assist you further. Terminating support session. Resuming library archive session. Interesting. Okay, so we are done- oops, we are done with six. Let's move on to seven. Which involves... lasers and cubes, as usual. Ooh, this computer is beeping. Let's see... <coughs> Sorry. Athena, Athena 9. She examined the symbol on the fragment she'd found in the buried city. Again, the owl. What could its significance be? It seemed as if they had been sh scattered about in the labyrinth by some unseen hand for a purpose that yet eluded. Most likely the owl was the sigil of the author of these words, which had so blah. A nebulous mystery, as if from a previous life, the owl was the symbol of blah in the goddess blah. Outside, under the moon, or perhaps on the city walls when the wind rose. But, there was no time to contemplate this further now, for the automatons had seen her, and their mechanical arms extended towards Blah, the fragment, and ran as their beams converged on Blah. Articles, the singularity is coming, comment 104. User Alex16... Reply report. You know, the more I think about it, the more I believe that no one is actually worried about AIs taking over the world or anything like that, no matter what they say. What they're really worried about is that someone might prove once and for all that consciousness can arise from matter. And I kind of understand why they find it so terrifying. If we can create a sentient being, where does that leave the soul? Without mystery, how can we see ourselves as anything other than machines? And if we are machines, what hope do we have that death is not the end? What really scares people is not the artificial intelligence in the computer, but the natural intelligence they see in the mirror. Yeah, as I've said before, this all makes perfect sense to me, and that's why I'm scared of dying, is because... I know... well, I don't know. There's actually no way for me to know. Um, I'm agnostic, which means that... I... I don't know... anything about... Uh, stuff that isn't scientific. If it's not science, then I don't know anything about it, and I can't hope to know about it. So, yeah. I just see people as organic machines, but there's a bit more to it than that for ethical reasons, because ethics has to be in play, and yeah, it's, it's not an easy thing to think about. Or discuss. There's no easy answers to questions. It's complicated. But, I do believe that... Artificial intelligence is a bit of a misnomer, because... Technically, our intelligence would work the same way as any artificial intelligence would. In fact, they're having a lot of success with neural networks so far. 
They just haven't been able to make good general AI yet. Nadia Sarabhai Ame. As one of the founders of the modern science of nomadics, many credit you with inventing the term itself. How do you see the state of the science today? Sorry, I said science twice. <laughs> that's a weird... That's... Why would you add that sentence at all? Like, maybe wrap it in parentheses or add it in a chat message when you're talking with them or something? But that's not like a really... not really a good place to put that sentence. Mixed. On the one hand, the existence of the Institute for Applied Nomadics and a couple of similar organizations is highly encouraging. On the other hand, the degree to which science is seen as serving purely military or corporate ex causes is, in my opinion, stopping us from exploring many important avenues of research. In a sense, it's people like Alexandra Drennan, Drennan who are the real pioneers today, who have the enthusiasm and dedication that the system as a whole seems to be lacking. Do you think technology poses a danger to humanity? No. Technology is just a tool. What we do with it is up to us. The Extended Lifespan Project. Crazy or visionary? Both. Crazy or visionary? Both. <laughs> Um, re scenario gen. So far, all the puzzles are solvable and completely within the necessary parameters. Alexandra had some more tweaks she wanted to suggest, but I think we're heading in the right direction here. I guess that's talking about the game. Uh, I think we've read everything now. Yep. Okay, oh. There's a thing here. When I was in ninth grade, my parents took me to Pompeii. At first, I was amazed by the feeling of walking through an ancient city. But then I suddenly got scared. I realized that I was walking through a real place where real people had lived, people like myself, with mothers and fathers and lives and hopes and dreams. And now it was all gone forever. I ran to my father, crying, and told him about this. And he said, I remember so clearly, he said, Yes, but we are here. So long as there are people in the streets, the past isn't really gone. That's an interesting thing to say, and I'm not so sure if I agree or not. These spaces make no sense. I walk into a dead end and materialize in a garden. One is day, the other night. This space is not real. James too, because one was taken. Ha! Ha ha ha! That's a funny name. Windows into a labyrinth. It's a good movie, by the way, Labyrinth. Interesting. Ah, these are the windows, I bet. Hey, we've got a connector. <laughs> Step one complete. About this guy. He'll be a good friend of ours.
interesting. Oh, okay. all three of them. Fancy that. So now... Wait, what even is that? Oh, that's the. That's not even what I want to hit. There we go. That's better. that anymore. There's nothing in here. Yeah. here.
least so far I have not found a way to get trapped. Oh, that's a good question. No, wait, I've, I've been there. Duh, I know it's... I know it's there. That's just, yeah, that's where I got the, uh... Whatchamacallit? This guy, the jammer. That's where I got the jammer from. See, now there's that window, but I don't see how that's useful to me. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think that makes things a bit easier. Potentially have been a trapping point there. I'm glad I did that right. Um, Can 
I'm basically just juggling the lasers here. That worked. <laughs> well, guys, that's it for this episode. Sorry for the extremely long episode. But, uh, thanks for watching, and as always, if you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!